good person. She means well, but she has serious anxiety issues. She wants to feel like she's important in the world. And Robert being there, taking her statement, listening to her, makes her feel important. Catherine is so opposite to Mary Louise. She thinks she's so fantastic. And then when she finds out she's not, her whole world collapses. It's gone, pff, it explodes. Catherine is 21. She's in this new city. She's had to maybe adapt to every new situation and, and survive, really. She spots this girl who's like got this amazing place and super wealthy girl um, who has everything. She's very good at manipulating people, I think. Daisy is my daughter and she is the centre of my world. Being a parent is a very complex thing. Her disappearance affects everybody. I suspect that as a character, she's one of the people who would be able to deal with this better than most. But clearly, as any mother would know, where well, you don't know where your 11-year-old is, it's quite hard to be rational, but she's trying to keep it together. He is a detective and looks into cases where kids have gone missing. I think he's lonely. I think that's why he spends his nights, evenings, afternoons at this bar with this girl who he's known for a few months. The deal with Catherine is confusing. I think he does fancy her, but I think he also, it's like a romantic friendship he's developing. Because Anne doesn't want a family liaison officer, we end up doing everything. He's really invested in this case from a point of view of wanting to solve it, but also of, of witnessing a lot of the grief especially where he's quite young, he's only 24. To be going through all of this and be so far from home, that, that, that really weighs on him quite heavily.